Hi beans, welcome back to my channel and your mat. Today we are going to work through a sequence that's going to help lengthen the back of the hamstring so that we can deepen our forward folds or any fold within the practice. So I'll meet you on the mat. You're in the way chicken. So we're gonna start today's practice standing at the top of our mat and we're just going to kind of use this as an assessment or a scan of the body. So kind of starting to tap into the breath, maybe taking some of the most intentional breaths that you've taken today as we draw them in through the top of the body and allow it to travel in through filling the lungs, the belly. And as we exhale, finding a little bit more presence in the moment. And then continuing with that momentum of checking in, finding some presence and scanning how the body's feeling with each breath. Maybe that's full stillness. Maybe that's rocking the weight, distributing the weight one way or another. Whatever that is, two more rounds of breath here, standing in that presence as we welcome our practice together today. On your next inhale, scoop the hands up to the top. And as we exhale, fold all the way down, but don't stop there. With your inhale, bring the hands to the shins, create some length in that spine. And as we settle into our first fold of the practice, just taking a moment to assess the body from the bottom up, noticing how the calves feel, the hamstrings, the glutes, the spine from the base all the way up to the crown of the head. Not feeling as though we need to change anything here, but just marking a little checkpoint of how we feel. Two more rounds of breath here. Maybe notice if we can drop the head even further down, tuck that chin towards the chest, really allow the weight of the head to fall heavy. With your next inhale, slowly rolling the body all the way back up to a stand, but one vertebrae at a time, letting the head be last. And as the head lifts, go ahead and raise the arms above head. And once they reach the top, elevate the feet, raising the heels, coming up onto all 10 toes. Make sure that we've got all 10 toes pressed. Maybe that means readjusting so we can really feel the contact of all 10 toes really pressing into the mat. And from here, we're just going to drop the heels, little micro bend in the knees and inhale to reach nice and tall, extend up onto those toes. Eight, more, seven. Next time you go up, see if we can hug those ribs in towards one another. Really trying to activate the whole body as we extend. I think this is six, five, four, and on the last one, we're gonna hold it. Three, two. Really feeling up the fire in the back of those legs. On the last one, we stay lifted. And slowly bending through the knees, keeping those heels lifted, we come all the way down. Let the thighs touch the calves. And then drop those hands, push yourself back to a tabletop position. Moving through some organic movement here. Maybe that's shifting the booty forward and back. Maybe it's some cat cows. Whatever your body is calling for as you arrive here in this tabletop for one last round of breath before we meet in a neutral stance. Flip those toes. We're gonna extend the right leg back maybe shift that left knee forward as we start to rock into the back of that right calf. Suspending so some focus on one specific leg at a time as we gain some length within the back of the leg. Three more pulses here. 
last pulse, lift that leg up to a hover, swing it over towards the left, take a gaze at the heel, feel the side stretch all the way across that right side body. Nice big inhale, we swing it all the way over to the other side. Beautiful, touches back kind of across from those hips, shift back like you're in a child's pose. Getting a nice inner thigh stretch of that right leg. Beautiful, bringing yourself up to a seat on that left heel, but we're gonna shift the booty down onto the mat, send the heel towards the inside of that groin. We're gonna pick up the right leg, extend it out long in front of us for kind of a half seated forward fold. Nice big inhale as we continue to find some length within just that right leg as we hinge over top. Really focusing on maybe a little micro bend in that knee so that we can really connect the belly and the thigh as we hinge the body over, finding some length in that spine, more so than we are trying to make contact with that front leg. Two more breaths here. Your next inhale, bring the body up to a seat. Lift the left leg out to meet the right. Just a nice big inhale as we reach tall. Exhale, we'll fold over top of those front legs just for a moment in that seated forward fold. Peel the body back up and shifting back into our tabletop position. <laughs> Finding that neutral spine as we step the left leg along, starting to shift that weight forward and back. Maybe we inch, <clears throat> pardon me, that right knee forward a little as we start to gain some attention towards now that opposite calf. Three more pulses here. And on that last one, we will bring that back leg out to a hover, swing her over towards that right side, take a gaze at those right toes. Nice big inhale, swing it all the way over towards the opposite side, all the way out long, parallel to those hips. Shifting those hips back down towards that right heel. Ooh, this left hip, I feel it. Beautiful, sinking in, opening up that left thigh, left hip. Bringing ourselves back up to a seat with that inhale as we shift onto the right cheek, swing that right heel inside, and then bring that left leg in front for that half seated forward fold. As we inhale, we reach tall, and exhale, we fold over top of that leg. Again, biggest focus being the connection between that thigh and the belly, more so than really straightening that front leg. So long as we really get a nice thorough stretch within the back of that front leg. Two more breaths here. From here, we are going to take a seat up, flip this right knee up towards the ceiling, bring the left in to meet it, shifting ourselves forward, using the hands to guide us, shifting into our downward facing dog, stepping those feet back, hips high, pedaling out the feet here a moment, maybe noticing that length that we've created now within the back of those calves, the back of the legs, up to the hamstring. Nice big inhale, suck that right left knee in towards the chest, left knee in towards the chest, plant the left foot, drop the right knee. Beautiful, shifting the hips back, find your half split. And then we can readjust as we find some flow here between our low lunge and half split for six pulses. Really using that breath to guide the rhythm of the movement forward and back. Flexing that foot when we reach back to that half split so we really feel the stretch within the back of the calf. And then really pointing those hip bones down towards the earth when we come into our front slow lunge. Beautiful, shifting from that half split into our low lunge to meet, we're going to lift those back right toes, switch them over to the long edge of the mat, left side. Start to turn the body over towards the right, plant the right hand, 
reach the left arm all the way up and over, kind of like a side plank position. Maybe we kick that left leg out long, feeling a full stretch within that left side body. Beautiful, nice big inhale here, reaching long. Beautiful. Exhale, just to close the body, close that left arm towards the right. Plant it down, shift the right to meet it, finding a plank position. And then shifting the booty up, downward facing dog, facing the other way. Beautiful, nice big inhale, suck that right knee in towards the nose. And then plant that right foot down, drop the back knee, finding your half split on the opposite side, readjusting so we can flow from that half split to low lunge. Gaining maybe just a baby millimeter with each flow back and forth. Really intentionally drawing that breath into where you feel the sensation most. Just imagining that that sensation, that feeling the body is calling out to you is just a muscle, an old friend saying hello after a long while. Last one, finding ourselves in that low lunge. We'll kick those left toes towards the right, kickstand, swinging the body all the way over to the other side, plant the left hand down, reach the right arm all the way up and over. And maybe we extend that right leg out long, full right side body stretch. One more nice big inhale, finding some length here. Beautiful. This time we're gonna swing the body just through center. Plant the hands down to support you. And then we're gonna flip the left toes, push up, send the booty to the sky, find your wide legged forward fold. And I'm gonna just turn to face y'all. And then taking a nice big inhale, bring the hands to the shins. Exhale, we'll fold down. Finding a little flow here as we inhale, create that length in the spine. Exhale, fold down. Just two more like that before we find a pause of stillness in our wide-legged forward fold. Once you get there to your pause, maybe grabbing hold of opposite elbows. Maybe it feels good to grab hold of the back of the ankles. Maybe it feels nice to step on the hands like a gorilla. Wherever you've chosen to take a pause in your wide leg forward fold, drawing the belly, all, drawing the breath all the way into the belly. And as you exhale, maybe finding just a little more depth in that fold. Slowly bringing the gaze just to in front of the body there and then shifting the body over towards the right to frame that right foot. Nice, go ahead, take an inhale, step the left foot to meet the right, bending in the knees, send the booty towards the earth. Plant the hands just to kind of uh, support yourself as you take a seat. Find the feet to touch, knees out wide, finding our wide angle or butterfly seated pose taking an inhale as we find some length in the spine exhale we'll tip over hinge over top of that open space and then dropping those hands allowing it to be a little more passive but keep that nice strong line within the spine not curving too much just yet two more breaths here in this long spine And just let the top body feel heavy over top, round within that spine just for a few seconds. And then we slowly roll the body up to a seat. Take those knees up to the sky, plant the soles of the feet, some windshield wiper, those knees from right to left, neutralizing the spine, getting those hips, some mobility love. Nice, extending the legs out long, nice big inhale, sweeping the arms up. 
Exhale, folding back down, forward fold. Three breaths. Again, sending that breath like a hug to your old friend, that sensation that's calling out to you, saying just, just a warm hello. Maybe a little warmer than you'd like. <laughs> your next inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up. Bending in the knees, planting the soles of the feet, bringing yourself all the way up to stand, however that suits you best. Taking an inhale, rising all the way up, raise the arms up with you. Exhale, we'll fold all the way down, hinging in those hips for that final check-in of how your standing forward fold feels now. Five rounds of breath here in stillness, your forward fold. Maybe you want to walk the feet a little closer or further, depending on what suits you best. And again, like the beginning, using these breaths as just a moment of assessment to check in with the body. Two more rounds of breath. Strong breath in, steady breath out. On your next inhale, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we come all the way up to stand. Nice big inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears with the exhale down and back. Nice, nice big inhale, sweep the arms up. Rise up onto the toes with it. And as we exhale, slowly bending in those knees, sending the booty all the way down to the ground, but keep those heels lifted. And once you reach the bottom, finding your final resting pose, releasing the body all the way down to the earth allowing the soles of the feet to fall out heavy. Finding a comfortable place with the hands, maybe that's falling out to the side, palms open. Inviting new energy. Or maybe they're facing down, or maybe you've got them over the belly. Maybe one hand over the heart, one hand over the belly. Maybe holding in all of that good built up energy that we created within our flow. Wherever you've chosen to rest, bringing yourself back to those deep, strong breaths in to fill the belly. And steady breaths out, finding that presence, that grounding sensation You can stay here for as long as you would like. It is always your practice and your call, but I just want to thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today and allowing me to guide you through some movement. And I hope to see you on the mat next time.